I had a lot more power left, and I thought I would need a lot more to win that event, and I didn't. So it went well. It went really well. What's up everyone, David here. We've got a new video for y'all today, but before we get into it, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. Because remember, new videos on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, so don't miss out. So I'm pretty sure you can notice I got some new gear I'm wearing right here. This, right here, this, if you haven't recognized them, is Brian Shaw. This is his brand right here, Shaw Strength. For those who don't know who Brian Shaw is, we're talking about four times world strongest man. He is a strong man competitor. Keyword there is strong man. Now, when I talk to people about this style of training, they don't necessarily know that it's called that. But as soon as I say, have you seen those guys that pick up the logs, carry the stones, flip the tires? They're like, oh, that, yeah, I recognize that. Okay, that right there, that's what you call strong man training. And for those who haven't tried it, I personally, Again, this is me, this is just my honest opinion. I highly recommend you throw it into your program. I mean, let's be honest, from time to time, it can get a little boring just doing the typical gym movements. You're squatting, you're pressing, you're rowing, deadlifting, you know, all that can get boring. You're using the same dumbbells, the same bars, the same racks, the same benches. Sometimes, you know, you gotta add a little, a little, you know, variety to your routine. So what's a good way to add variety? We're talking about strongman training. I mean, again, for those who haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. There's just something about it that when you're using those type of implements, it just makes you feel like, it just makes training more exciting. It's finally something different. You feel a little bit more primal. I don't know, there's, maybe it's just a mental thing to me, but like I said, you won't know it until you try it for yourself. It's a real fun, good way to add something new to your routine. But what exactly is this new thing gonna be? For me personally, the way I like to add strongman into my routine is as cardio, okay, conditioning, however you wanna put it. A lot of you, just like myself, we don't have the goal of having our entire training be revolved around strongman. No, not many people wanna be a professional strongman. Not many people want to go down that route. Many of us just have the goal of wanting to lose weight, wanting to build muscle. So think of it more like bodybuilding type of, you know, training for looks essentially. But regardless of what type of training you do, you always wanna make sure that your cardio is in good health. I mean, think about it. When was the last time that you did a good heavy set of squats? Let's just say for eight to 12 reps. Has there ever been a time when it was your heart rate and your breathing that kept you from going more? Or was it your legs burning that kept you from going more? If it was your legs that were kept keeping you from going even more because just it was burning so much, well then good. I mean, you're pushing yourself to build up those muscles. But if it was your heart, your cardiovascular health, you know, the type of condition you're in, if that was the limiting factor, then that's something that needs to be addressed. I mean, ultimately your legs could have handled a couple more reps, but your lungs and your heart couldn't. We want to fix that. So for those of you who maybe are unaware or don't know how to incorporate strongman into your routine, just pick one strongman exercise and add it at the end of your workout. So that way you have something to do for cardio. Now, again, this cardio can be real quick, three sets of 45 seconds or just five minutes nonstop, get as many as you can, whatever it is, just pick one exercise and stick with it. For me personally, there's so much variety that I can do for strongman because I got some of the equipment right here in the home gym. What I like to do is, depending on what workout I did for that particular day, I like to do a strongman exercise in my cardio that still uses the same muscle groups as what I just previously worked out. So for example, if I just finished a back workout, I wanna pick a strongman movement that mainly utilizes my back. If I just finished the leg day, I wanna be doing a strongman movement that solely relies on my legs. So what are some options you can go about? Well, right here, I broke it down into three categories. Legs, push, pull. Legs, it's pretty obvious what those are. Glutes, quads, hamstrings, calves. Push is gonna be your chest, your delts, your triceps. And then pull is going to be your back, and biceps, forearms. Now, some people, they don't split up their workout under legs, push, pull. Some of them, they may even break up push a little bit more. If, for example, they may have a chest day and then they may have a delt day or shoulder day. Your delts are your shoulders, by the way or they may have an additional arm day, which will eventually utilize the triceps. But regardless, you understand the idea. These are just some of the exercises that you can do that will still utilize those same muscle groups as what you just previously changed. So after you just did a good leg workout to build up your legs, here's what the first thing you can do. 
tire pull. Now I put tire because I don't have a sled, but realistically, if your gym has a sled, which in most cases, most of them do, especially if it's a gym that has like that strip of turf, you can go ahead and utilize it. But ultimately what you need is just something that you can drag or move from point A to point B. So in my case, I have tires in the backyard. So that's what I'm using. You can either tie a rope to it, tie a chain to it, and then use a bell or tie, so figure out how to get it strapped around your waist and then just start walking with it. Depending on how heavy you go, you may have to drag your feet into the ground to really push off to move that tire or that sled across the turf or wherever it is that you're gonna be using it. If you don't like doing that, you can go ahead and hook up a handle to the chain that's connecting to the sled or the tire. And from right here, you're gonna do a backwards tire drag. Now, this one specifically will really burn the quads, especially if you're gonna be going heavy enough. Lastly, tire flip. Now, tire flip is gonna be a little bit harder because not every gym has access to a tire, at least as commonly as it would have access to either a sled or you know some other strongman equipment. But tire flip is a real good one. I mean, when you go down to flip the tire, what motion are you doing? You're squatting down to grip onto it and then you're squatting back up to get the tire up. Now, you can either go with a light tire and just rep that out a couple of times, or you can go with a real heavy tire. And regardless, even if you're doing less reps, as long as you're going as fast as you can, you're gonna feel your heart rate going up. Me personally, I do both. One week I may go with the real heavy tire and then another week I'll just go with a lighter tire. Regardless, both I'm doing as fast as I can for a certain amount of time, for sure. It's cardio. You tell me how your heart feels after trying that. Moving on to push. So again, push can be broken up if after your chest day, after your shoulder day, after your arm day, because again, you are using your triceps on your arm and your triceps is a pushing muscle. The most common strongman pushing exercise is gonna be a log press. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure everyone has seen it. If your gym has access to a strongman log, I highly recommend it. I mean, it's a good full body workout. The main emphasis is push, but I mean, think about it. You have to make it from the floor to your lap, from your lap to your upper chest, from your upper chest overhead, and then back down onto the ground. Load it up light and just rep it out straight from the floor up. That's some real good conditioning right there. But not every gym has access to that equipment because that's a very specific piece. Next best option is gonna be axle clean and press. So ultimately what strong men use majority of the time for their pressing overhead, especially if they're just doing with a bar, is they use an axle bar. All it is, is just a thicker barbell. A normal barbell, you can grip your hand all the way around like this, but with an axle, it's thicker. Think about the thick end of the bar where you actually slide the plates on. Imagine that thickness, that diameter bar, but across the entire thing. So straight from the floor, boom, right here, and then straight up over your head. That's some good conditioning, especially if you're doing multiple reps straight from the floor here, boom. If you don't have an axle bar, like I said, again, it's a very specific piece of equipment that, you know, most of the time strongman gyms will only have. It. It's very rare that a public gym will have it. But if you don't have an axle bar, just use a regular barbell. Essentially, you're doing the same movement from the floor to right here. Uh, so think about just a clean and press. Just keep it simple. Next, we got a circus dumbbell. For those who don't know, in Strongman, they use a very specific type of dumbbell to do their overhead press like this. A circus dumbbell is just a very big dumbbell with a thick old handle. Again, it's a lot of showmanship. I mean, you gotta have something to bring the spectators in. It's a little bit more visually appealing to see that bigger implement, it looks more impressive, you know, showmanship. Not every gym is gonna have that. It's very specific to Strongman gyms only, but every gym does have regular dumbbells, you can do the same movement straight from the floor to your shoulder and then from your shoulder over your head. If you want to make it more strongman or at least as close as possible to it, you can go ahead and thicken up the handle the way a normal circus dumbbell would be. How would you do that? Easy. You just throw on a fat grip. You can either purchase some fat grips and take them with you to the gym or do what I do. I just grab pool noodles. I cut them to the length of a dumbbell handle and then boom, I slide it in there and there you go it thickens up the handle of whatever it is that I'm grabbing. So from right here, straight from the floor to my shoulder and then press up. Again, real good exercise for some cardio. You can alternate the arms after you hit each rep or get all your reps with one arm down and then get all your reps with the other. Split it up however you like. Next, we got our pull workouts, or I should say, you just finished your pull workout and now you're gonna do your strongman exercise. Again, pull is our back, our biceps and our forearm. 
we got tire rows. But again, with the tire, you can also be using a sled. It's just something that you can move from point A to point B. You're gonna go ahead and hook up either a rope, a chain or something, and you're gonna attach a handle that you normally attach to a cable machine onto there. Me personally, when I'm doing this particular exercise, I like using the V-bar attachment that we normally do V-bar pull downs right there. Arms extended, boom drag the tire and let's take a step back then again another row step back then another row make your way across in that rowing motion right there that's all back work if you don't want to go with this you can go with an arm over arm pull same thing use a tire or use a sled but this time you will need access to a battle rope i'm pretty sure every commercial gym has a battle rope you're going to tie it on one end you're going to take the other end all the way across and then just one arm at a time start pulling that sled or that tire closer to you essentially that's mimicking a one arm row again the rowing motion so you know works out your back and your biceps but what i like about this one specifically is that the fact that a battle rope at least most of them are pretty thick so you're getting some grip strength work in there as well so that pretty much covers certain exercises you can do on legs push pull because they use the same muscles that you will use during a leg workout, during a push workout, during a pull workout. But there's two specific strongman movements that I feel if you were only limited to just two, it would be these. First one is gonna be a keg carry. Why is this functional? Now, I feel like that word gets thrown around a lot. I don't necessarily think that people know what functional means. When an exercise is deemed as functional, at least in my opinion, it means it needs to have direct carry over to an everyday activity that you already do, okay? For example, a lot of people say that bench press is not a functional exercise because when is this gonna be a time when you're lying on your back and you're doing something like this in everyday activities, okay? But if we don't do a bench press, we are not strengthening up our chest and our triceps and you try doing movements like pushing a door forward, pushing a drawer closed, that uses that same motion. So is a bench press really functional? In my opinion, yes, it is. Is a squat, specifically a bar, functional? Because you're going up and down? Yes, because what is an everyday activity that we do that, that could help us in? Sitting up and down from a chair. See what I mean? A keg carry specifically, I believe is functional. It's because every day, everyone's gonna be going through one type of motion where they have to pick up an object and carry it from point A to point B. The two biggest examples I can think of is if you're going to Costco and you're picking up a case of water, what exactly are you doing? You're standing up, you're grabbing it, and you're pulling it towards you, and you're walking it over to your cart before you actually drop it off. When you carry a keg, that is exactly the same motion. Let's just say it's laundry day, and you gotta get that bin of laundry over to the washing machine or to the dryer. What are you doing? You're picking it up by the handles, pulling it towards you and walking with it. Again, what does that mimic? That is exactly what a keg does. And what I really like about kegs is when you fill them up with water, you can feel that water, you know, moving around. So it makes it a little harder compared to like a laundry bin where everything is just kind of set in stone. So again, keg carry, very functional exercise. I mean, it's a full body thing. You have to use your legs to just stand up with the keg. You have to use your arms, your grip strings to put into, you know, actually hold on to the keg. And you gotta use your back to hold it, you know, back because you're not just casually holding onto it. You're actually pulling it into. So it works out your back, corrects your posture, just real good overall exercise. But not every gym has access to a keg. So what can you do? If you got some bumper plates, they're pretty thick, stack up like two 45 pound bumper plates and then walk with them, same thing. Just grab them and then pull them towards you and then start making your way. Grab some regular weight plates, the steel ones. Again, stack up a few, let's just say two 45s, boom, pull it towards you and then walk. Do what you can. All you need to do is grab onto some type of implement, pull it into your torso and walk from point A to point B. Now, if you don't wanna do that, next best option, which I believe is just phenomenal exercise, farmer's carry this one for damn sure you're always going to be doing name me one day where you didn't pick up one object and move it from point a to point b using your overall grip strength i mean do we not carry groceries yes when you go to the airport and you have to pick up your luggage you know your carry-on are you not carrying it in your hands is that not grip strength yes we're always going to be grabbing onto things and taking them from over here to over there so why not train it? Again, farmer's carry, full body. You have to use your legs to actually stand up with whatever it is that you're carrying. You're using those arms and that grip strength to actually hold on to those items. And then you're using your back to not only correct your posture, but holding that position as you're walking. 
Again, a lot of these exercises have great carryover to the everyday activities that we do. And for those who know, everyday activities are ADLs, activities of daily living. Things like sitting down in a chair, going up and down stairs, carrying groceries. The, just, you know, it sounds exactly as what it is. The everyday activities that you do at your job, in your personal life, at home, whatever it is, Strongman very much mimics that. So there you have it, everyone. That's just a quick rundown of how you can incorporate Strongman into your everyday routine. I incorporate it just as cardio one strongman exercise at the end of my workout that is plenty i'm doing it for conditioning very enjoyable just believe me when i tell you just just try it out just try it out comment down below if this video was helpful also comment down below any other video suggestions you'd like to see me do whether it be about mindset motivation nutrition diet workouts programs whatever it is comment down below i'd be more than happy to help you all out also be sure to subscribe not just to my channel but my girlfriend's channel and our couple's channel so you don't miss out on any new videos because remember we got new videos every week across the board for all three channels for this channel specifically new videos every tuesday thursdays and sundays so don't miss out and then for instagram and tiktok same thing be sure to follow me on my accounts girlfriend's accounts couple's accounts i put all the links down in the description below with that being said i'll catch y'all next time